Now the next question is, what about spot colors, such as Pantone colors? So I'm just going to fit down in the window here of all our artboards. What I want to do is utilize a fifth color in this design for our Italia graphic, and I want to use a metallic blue. Now therefore, that means it needs to be a spot color and not broken down into CMYK, but also available as an industry standard ink color, which is why I would choose a Pantone swatch. Now as a side note, just going back to the whole swatch guides thing I was telling you a second ago, there is a new Pantone Geo guide, which not only shows spot color swatches, but also gives you the specific RGB values now for recreating those in digital form if you're doing web or broadcast design. So pretty cool that the Pantone book's giving us that much flexibility. Now in order to get Pantone colors here into our artwork, what we'll do is pull down a new swatch book. So Let's come in here and just temporarily lock our backdrop color because we're done with that and the same with our stripes. But let's come up here and unlock our logos because that's what we wish to edit and this is our shape right here that we're going to do. In fact, go back to your main selection tool so we do pick up the entire group as and when we edit it. So to get the Pantone swatches, let's come up to the window menu and go way down past the bottom. We've already got our swatches panel open, but this is something separate. You'll see there is a swatch libraries option down here. If we come over to the side, what we want to do is choose a color book. And you see there's many in here. These are all default that come with Illustrator. But in the color book section, these are the industry standard color books. And what we're going to do is go down and choose Pantone Solid Coated. All right. Now, when you choose that, it may take a few seconds to come up. And next time you come into Illustrator, it's not going to have this panel here by default. OK, two things you can do to get around that. You could drag this and dock it somewhere into one of your layouts and then save the workspace. But then you would also want to make sure that you come to the flyout menu on the side here and choose persistent. What persistent does, it means that this swatch book is always loaded into the memory of Illustrator so it loads fast. So there's really not much time in it, but I wanted to point that out because that persistent option can be quite handy sometimes. Now what we're going to do is come to the flyout menu and go down to small list view so we can actually see the names of the Pantone colors. Okay. And we're going to go way down towards the bottom of the list because the metallic colors are actually stored further down. OK, so let's go down to roundabout here. There we go. This is the color we're looking for, 8201. It's actually third from the bottom, so that's great. So all we have to do, we've got nothing selected. We can simply click it, and you'll notice that's now applied into our swatches panel. So we don't need to apply it to a graphic to start with. We simply need to choose it. We can now go ahead and close this down. Next time we come back, it will load a little bit faster. But now we can click on our Italia logo as a group and simply click on the swatch to now apply it. And you can see that that's using our spot Pantone color. We can then come up here if we need to and apply a tint of that. So it's worth bearing in mind any swatches that have names, you can also apply tints.